Hey guys, it's your boy Nami Rubber Bands back with another video, and today is a special video. Introduce yourself. Uh, what's up, y'all? X Anime Reject. So it's been a minute since you've been on the channel, so I hope you guys will enjoy. Um, Rage on the channel. Um, we're gonna be doing more things like this, and uh, yeah, um, we're gonna continue. What if Deku had the big Getty star? So, I let Rage take the first part. Alrighty, so, we are at the Bakako residence, right? Right. So, Deku decides to not only help Mansky out in her financial troubles, right? Right. He decides to, he decides to make sure that he'll never ever deal with financial troubles for the rest of her freaking days. Mmm. By giving the Bakuto residents or linking their account to Deku's account. So, any money that Deku makes, they automatically get like a 5 to 10 percent fraction of what he makes. Which, given how successful of a scientist Deku is, given his physiology and everything, mm -hmm. I would think they would get a decent little cut out of that. Right. Though, you know, Mansky, you know, she's still a humble woman, you know, she's still go out her way to try to help Deku because she don't want to feel like he's just giving her the money. Mm. But hey, that's just Minsky being Minsky. They're like, no, nah, it's fine. It's fine. You know? Right. So, and so Bronco, like, I can at least work, do something, help out. You know, I don't feel like I'm just leeching off of you, bro. It's like, all right, if it matters to you that much, you can work with me in my research labs after school. So He's like, really? He's like, mm. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. My bad. <laughs> so like, you know, he's like, yeah, you could come to the lab and um help me out with this new um thing I came across. As Doc was like, what you mean, man? You don't even know the half of what I got. He's like, what the hell are you talking about? Kind of wanna. I don't wanna say it too loud, but let's just head to my facility. As, you know, Bakugo's looking at him weird, you know? He's like, whatever, man. Let's go, right? So, they head to the facility as um, ba Bakugo's like, so, man, this place got big. What the hell? What is this room? There's at least 100 yards of just pure space in here. What are you doing in here? Well, like I said, it's been quite a few changes with me. As, you know, he looks at um, Deku, and he starts to see that Deku's skin starts to turn metallic. As he's like, wait, you got a quirk? He's like, oh, not quite a quirk. Um, I came across this, uh, let's say, something from outer space. And um, it kind of attached itself to me. As he's like, really? you telling me you have alien DNA on you. <laughs> he like, But he's trolling, you know? He's like, oh, shut up, Bakugo. As he's like, whatever. Well, what can you do with this? As um, so I could do a lot of things. As he starts to create energy in his hands, as Bob goes like, whoa, what the hell? What is that? I don't even know, man. All I know is extremely devastating. You see that rock over there? As he just blasts the rock and it like, gets obliterated. As he's like, damn, that's some power. So is there anything else you can do? Well, that's why you here for. As, you know, Bob goes like, me? Yeah, I need a good sparring partner to test out my abilities. As he's like, <laughs> he starts to sweat drop. <laughs> he's like, so, I guess, let's get started then. And you can go if you want, bro. Alrighty. So, Bob go stretching. You know, he's already, as he's hooking his, uh, his arm to the computer, right? Mm-hmm. But when he does this, you know, his hands kind of like extend out right. to the computer. As he's, the bomb is like, wait, what's that? He's like, oh, this computer isn't powered by the internet. It's powered by my already infinite knowledge. Mm. Wait, wait, you tell me you know more than internet? <laughs> more or less. <laughs> yeah, I do have more information in my head than the internet. Does. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He's late. So I yeah. powered a computer rather than the other way around. Mm. I was like, okay, not going. 
that's cool. Right. <laughs> the hell? That's crazy. <laughs> um, he's like, well, that's that's insane. Um, anyway, let's get on with the procedure. As you know, they you know get in a stance, and um, you know Bakugo charges in first. As Deku like is in, like analyzing his um structure, because he can do that, and um, he goes for Bakugo's blind spots. As Bakugo gets caught off guard, he's like, "What the hell? How did he do that? Like he just straight countered." As he's like, "Bro, you gotta go. You gotta go harder than that. You don't have to hold back against me. Trust me." As he's like, "You sure about that?" As now, um, Bakugo's getting really serious now, right? You know, but Deku is like blocking, avoiding, dodging. Um, he occasionally he let Bakugo hit him, and he's like, "Hmm, this is not quite it." As he's like, "Hold on, Bakugo." As Bakugo's like, "What you mean?" As Deku walks over to Bakugo, and puts his hands on his shoulders, as you see little nano bots, um, start moving on on Bakugo. He's like, "What the hell, man? What is this?" Shut up. Trust me. It's going to make you a lot stronger. As the nanobots is analyzing Bakugo's physique and everything. Hmm. Perfect. This should be good. As it starts to fix his flaws of his quirk. As, um, this is happening all in an instinct. And, um, it's like, now try to use your power, your powers now. As, um, but he goes to use the his um quirk. He lets off a huge explosion. Like I'm saying, like at least five times stronger than his normal explosions. As he's like, "Whoa, what the hell?" Yeah, that's more like it. As um, he's like, "Now nah, we can really fight." And I did way more just that. Um, try to use your quirk on your feet. Right, take off your shoes and use your quirk on your feet. As he's like, what did you do? Come on, you're going to like this, bro. As, you know, he's like, all right, man. So when he tries to use it on his feet, he starts to, like, hover off the ground. And it's he's like, wait, when did I get fire control? Oh, yeah, I gave you um fire abilities as well. As he's like, nah, this is this is insane. He gotta, he, he has to sit down and, and, like, think about what just happened because, like, this whatever Deku has is actually really crazy, and um, he's like, bro, if word gets out about this, you know how bad this would be bad, for, like how bad this will be for you. He's like, Deku's like, yeah, but it is what it is. As long as you don't say anything, right? He's like, right. <laughs> um, I'll let you take over. Alrighty, Bako, he gets a little, he gets a little bit amped up now, you know. Mm -hmm. Because at first, he wasn't really that confident in his chances against Deku. But now, he feels like, with this app, he can at least do something. Right. Know? Or at least that's what he thinks. Hmm. As Deku gets into a fighting stance, Wakugo gets into like a, a boxer stance. And Deku immediately sees that, uh, okay, Wakugo has some backgrounds in boxing. Interesting. So when they are fighting each other, Deku just can't help but, but realize Bakugo's quirk would be a bit more effective as a fighting style if he just used more more open-handed attacks rather than close fists. Right. But it, clearly, it's going to hurt more to slap someone with a palm full of explosions than they're trying to punch someone with you know fists of explosions. Hmm. But Deku can see that Bakugo's just trying to brute force his way past Deku's already very defense. Right. But the least the Bakugo get caught in Deku's the cable wires he's getting a uh, uh, electric and everything. Ooh. <laughs> Can't always win with brute force Bakugo. Oh quiet. Quiet. As um <laughs> he's like, alright. As he grabs um Bakugo by his arm and every time Bakugo hits him, he sends all that kinetic force to his arm. And, like, not crushes it, but it's a very tight grip as it puts Bakugo in pain as he starts to, like, all right, man, all right, let's let go of my arm. 
It's like, all right, then. Now you're going to listen to me? He's like, yeah. Good. As you know, he lets go. <laughs> um, like, you're a little too straightforward with your attacks. You're very readable. I noticed that. As he's like, how? Like, if I can overwhelm my opponent, I wouldn't be hard to read, wouldn't I? Yeah, in most cases, yeah. Speed blitzing somebody would work. But what if that person is just as fast or if not faster than you? What are you going to do? As it makes um, Bakugo think about that. So um, Deku's like, maybe try to, you know, use your legs. Use your whole body, not just your arms. You don't have to be locked to your arms, you know? And um, think of this. Think of the most greatest ambush predator ever. Um, that's really small that lives in the ocean. But it packs a quite a punch. It kind of reminds me of you. As he's like, what are you talking about? You ever thought of the great mantis shrimp? You ever thought about containing that kinetic force in your punches before? As he's like, wait, I never even know what a mantis shrimp is. As <laughs> Deku's like, wait, you don't know what a mantis shrimp is? You crazy? <laughs> he's like, check this out. As, you know, he pulls up like a documentary about mantis shrimp. As he's like, you know what? That's kind of cool, actually. I didn't even know this little shrimp exists. Yeah. I say you should try to find a way to do that. And your punches would be a lot more devastating. As he's like, I look into it. Good. And um, as you know, Bakugo was about to leave. He, um, Deku tosses him gauntlets that he just made. You know? Try to use these out and test them out. Tell me how you feel about them. As he's like, yeah, man, what, what a crazy day he's in. Just pain in his head, you know? And um, they both leave. And um, I'll let you take over from there, bro. Okay. So, Deku, like, unplugs his, uh, like, stuff from the, the computer. Mm -hmm. That's Rocco. He just, because they're kind of, like, walking home. Cause let's just say they live in the same vicinity of each other. Right. And Rocco's just like, I just got to ask, bro, huh? How much space you got on that computer, you know? <laughs> He's just like, huh, never really thought about it. So if I had to estimate, that computer alone has enough power to generate enough energy to keep the world sustaining for up to 2,500 years, if I really think about it. Damn. Jeez. Yes. And plus, it's not run on electricity, it's run off of my bioelectricity, it's run on my body. Mm. Which means the only way that computer river is shut down is if I shut down. Mm. As, you know, Bako is just like taken aback by that statement, he's like, what the hell? He told me. He 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 didn't even fathom how much freaking terabytes that is. <laughs> He's like, oh okay. Anyway, let's head back. Um, you want to head back to my place? Um, my mom's cooking. He's like, yeah, I don't mind that. I haven't had her food in a long time. Let's go. And um, you know, they both walk in, shit like that. Um, we're gonna cut to a very kind of a paranoid government facility right now as they're like they real you know they see money being subtracted but it's not a lot in their eyes because you gotta keep in mind guys this is a hero society so they probably have in the within the trillions of dollars but what um Deku did earlier he um he hacked the system and took a billion out of it as they noticing where the money is going to, as that account never had that much money into it before, as it kind of raised an eyebrow on their face. They're like, this is weird. Since when did this account had this much money in it? As they're like, hmm, keep an eye on him. As um, Deku kind of just sneezes, he's like, oh, what the hell is that? Somebody talking about me? <laughs> and um, he's like, well, 
We almost did about um, Deku as Bakugo um, says to Deku. As he starts to crack his neck, he's like, oh, I can't wait to see Miss Miski. I ain't seen her in a minute. How she's been holding up, though. Is everything well with her husband? As you know, yeah. well, he says that, you know, your dad ain't. Bakugo kind of gets like, kind of, let's say, quiet about it. He's like, did I hit a soft spot? He's like, oh, nah, man. It's just haven't been working out with those two. Because he's like, damn, man, that's tough. Damn. So, is really that bad, huh? He's like, yeah. Um, I'll let you, i pass it to you, bro. All right. So, uh, they're just like, wow. I thought, out of all relationships, it would work out with them since they're so... Polar opposites, but I think, I guess, even polar opposites eventually have to pull apart from each other, so, hey, that's interesting, uh, what's going on with them, you know, just, just, just being curious, you know, as Paco explains, uh, well, he kind of cheated on her, Ooh, so, no. yeah. As a, you know, he kind of had to had to stop for a second because mm. he had to process what Bakugo just said to him. Right. And he ain't gonna lie, it did kind of annoy him at first, you know, mm. because he knows just how much of a good person Miski is. Mm-hmm. Like he's really she's really good people with her, her mom, so that's also another thing. So, right. It does kind of annoy him. But he knows that's not his his business, so he's not going to start complaining about it. So he's like, "Oh, sorry about that." Right. He's like, "Hey, it's fine. You know, adults, you know, they find ways to fix the the, the problem." Hopefully. So they get home as a father. You know, he take the, the key out, out the the doormat and unlock the, the door. Right. And so. Basically, looking at who's at, at the, the door, you know, Shari's trying to, like, who, who's opening the, the, the door, you know. Mm. Then she sees uh, who it is, you know, Bakugo and Deku. So, you know, she immediately run up, give them both a hug, because, well, yeah. Right. So then, you know, Deku just proceeds to watch Bakugo and Misky have a screaming match with each other, right? <laughs> right. Just listen to them to each other, call each other the most heinous of things a son and a mother should not be calling each, each other. Right. You had But that you know he's pretty used at this point. He knows this is Mexican and Baco's way of saying I love you. So hey, if, right. it, if it works out for them, who is he to, to complain about it? Right. He's he's like, I got to like chill now, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Let's eat, you know. Right? So, you know, they, they have table eating. And stuff like that. As um, you know, Deku's like analyzing the house, and he's like, "Man, this house been here for years. I think she need a new, like, a new place to go." Both of y'all. And she's like, "Well, I would like to move, but I don't have the money for that, you know." And he's like, "Oh, is that so?" As um, you know, Bako looks at Deku. He's kind of like. You don't have to do that, man. Like, he just gives him that look, right? As he puts his hands up, he's like, bro, don't worry. Gotcha. As, um, you know, he uh sends Bakugo, because since, you know, they're linked to each other, he sends Bakugo the um money for a new place to go, right? As he's like, he kind of spits up his food, because he see how much um Deku, like, give to him. He's like, <laughs> Oh man, what the hell, man? Like, hey, where you get that from? You know? <laughs> and um he's like, don't worry about it. That's for me to know and for you not to find out. <laughs> and um he's like, Yeah, man, I hope you're not doing nothing illegal. Who knows? As um you know, Miski's like, what are y'all two talking about? As um he's like, Well, you explain to her about ago. As he's like um, he, I let you take over. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, Bob, you know, he didn't have to say anything. He just 
and it missed what is said on the uh, on, on the check. Mm. And so you know, she, come on, she's eating a good freaking spaghetti. Like she's eating good. <laughs> she eating right. Mm -hmm. So as she's eating, and she sees like just how much money <laughs> is on. <laughs> But again, like Bongo almost made her choke up her food. Right. As she's looking at that, you know, he just has the, the most biggest goofy smile on his face ever, right? Right. And she's like, I, I, I can't accept this, please. Not, this is too much. He's like, you're right, but I want to give it to you. Mm. She's like, I'll, 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 I'll pay you back, you know? He's it's, it's like, it's fine. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. <laughs> it's all good. She's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah. We out of here, Bakugo. Let's get rid of this freaking godforsaken place. <laughs> you know, as they start dancing and shit. Um, sure, it was their home at one point in time, but it was kind of depressing being there, you know? Um, so, you know, they start celebrating and shit, you know? As you know, um, Deku was just, you know, having a good time just watching him happy. And um, let's just say cooler. Um, it's like, hey, yo, I didn't say you can do this to help other people. I said you can have the money. Nobody else can I know about your abilities. Oh, shut up, man. It's my body. You know, he's like, how dare you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sundere. Okay. Anyway. Like I said, this is my body. I can do whatever I want with it. I can be bad or evil. I can do whatever I want, essentially. But when it comes to my people, I take care of them. So I don't give a damn what you say. And he's like, huh. You know what? You're the first, well, human to put me in my place before. Uh, all right. I'll let you, I'll let you take that. As he kind of just dissipates, you know? So, anyway. So... Where y'all want to live, like, where y'all want to move. I said live, I'm going to say move. Where y'all want to move to, um, uptown, downtown, whatever. I can um, make um, calls so that. I said, like, wait, really? You can do that? Yeah. Um, I'm going to call up the trucks to get y'all stuff out of here. As you know, he, he does proceed to call the truck um, moving company. As, um, you know, they start to move. Um, he's keep boxing those stuff out the house that day because it's express because Deku got it like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, they head out and shit, and um, they like, wow, this really is happening. He's like, yeah, but um, Bakugo, um, class is gonna, um, the new training, um, for heroes assessment is coming up and they're like he's like yeah should be here in a couple of days right and he's like Paco's like yeah so we have to um start training for that um but other than that y'all I'm not I'm gonna say other than that I'm gonna say other than that um he says to Bakugo we need I'm about to head off to um go train again so I see y'all later as she's, she's, Miski and Bakugo is like, wait, it's a moving truck. What are you going to do? He's like, oh, I could just do this. As he just literally jumps out the, the um, truck and just starts flying away. <laughs> As Miski is like, what since then, what since when um, Deku can fly like that? Even um, Bakugo was shocked, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'll let you take over. <laughs> So, like, it ain't just fly off. He, like, he flew off. A few sonic booms went off when mm. he started flying away. So, right. it, it was loud. It was like standing. It's like a part. It's like you're on the ground, right? You hear a freaking airplane coming by. Like a fire How jet. loudly roaring it is. Right. That's how it sounded when Deku just flew away. Right. Which, uh, which made me see. And Bongo had to, like, cover their ears. Right. Because they, they sound like legit roaring at them. Mm -hmm. And the freaking turbulence behind him dashing off the wind almost really <laughs> knocked them off the side of the road. Right. Like, he managed to get a hold of the wheel at the last second, so he didn't smash into the freaking guardrail. Right. <laughs> He's like, maybe I shouldn't have did that. 
Oops. Anyway, my fault. <laughs> so they get to their, their lower location, right? Mm hmm. As Bobby go, Finsky, you know, they're just thinking about stuff. And Finsky, you know, Finsky and Bobby, like, clearly they think about two different things. Bobby go, you know, you think about uh, how to get, get stronger, you know, stuff right. like that. How to improve himself more. Even though Deck was helping him a lot, you know, he doesn't want to feel like his powers is being handed to him. Mm. He wants to thoroughly figure out his court. Right. You know? Wow. Minsky, you know, he still wants to help Deck, even though he already kind of said that he didn't need to, but he personally didn't feel right mm. if she did. Mm. So. But they, you know, they head to their, their location. And I'll just say they're living in the, in the, in the upper part of the, the uh, district, you know. Yeah. Kind of in that, in that middle, upper middle class range mm, of living okay, arrangement. Got, got you. Not really in the highest of class, but upper middle class. Mm. Like, they live in, like, they can live fine. Right. And so with them being there, actually means they're on back. They can actually relax, you know. Have good to chill. And when uh my boy freaking uh Monster will come in drunk, like, uh <laughs> Uh oh. He try to like do some 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 things. Right. Does he heard about um Misty moving and stuff like that? No. Mm. Uh oh. And so, what them doing? And Deku, he didn't tell them this, but he put a tracking thing mm. on the bottom of their truck, right? Just so that you know nothing bad can happen. He can like observe, do like his own personal drone monitor. Mm -hmm. And so when he sees freaking cheating drunk. Monster will just showing up, you know. Right. You know, he getting all, all mad because Miss Key moved and didn't tell him, even though you know, he's not really helping out the situation anymore. But he's really toxic. Right. And so, him and Miss Key are fighting. And I mean, I'm not talking about like arguing, like they're generally like throwing blows at each other. Whoa. So. And since my boy has like really acid sweat, it's kind of like like a little bit, a little bit of explosions is going on in the house. Mm -hmm. the since Bakugo's work is technically a mutation of both his acid sweat and her nitroglycerin right. skin, it's kind of going on mm. in, in, in the room. It's just swearing, yelling, throwing insults, and literally hitting each other. So, the Bongo, who was once training, you know, because at first he was already upstairs, you know, right. and his music just, just blaring, going going crazy, getting his gangs up. Mm -hmm. So he hears, well, he kind of hears what happened, and he sees, well, mm -hmm. this dude really throw acid in my like, messy face. Oh, no. And when he did that, she like point blank shot him with like an and a uh, glistening around right. into his chest, which ended like burning his chest. Right. So Bakugo seeing this, he just comes running full speed and just really does like a little shotgun blast with the force and freaking knocks his chest, Damn. send him back. You're like, hey, yo, bro, what the fuck you doing to, to, to my mom, you know? Mm -hmm. So Bakugo, being more angry than he'll usually be in this moment because, well, he actually has a genuine reason to be so. Right. And, of course, I don't think we're going to debate that monster who can actually fight off Bakugo, especially when he's got enhanced by Deku. No. Today, <laughs> so. He um, gets worked. Yes, he gets absolutely worked. Like, he gets his... He gets he gets folded, okay? As you know, Bako puts him in his place. He's like, Don't ever come here again. He like kicks him out the house. He's like, I don't need you anyway. 
y'all were just baggage. Y'all can do what I want. As um, that kind of hurts, you know, Miski's feelings. He's like, Mom, don't listen to him. It's a piece of shit. Yeah, you can do way better than him. And she's like, I know. As you know, he helps his mom off the floor. As he's like, let me go get the um, that first aid kit. Let me get try to cover up these burns you got on your face. As he's like, thanks. As um, let's just say somebody wasn't really really mad about that. Really, really triggered by that. As um, you know, let's say thirty minutes go by. As um, we hear a knock on the door. As um. Bago goes to look to see who it is as it's Deku. As Deku um you know walks in as you know he sees Bisky's face and he's like, What happened? He knows what happened, but he's just playing along, you know? As yeah. um Bago's like, My dad showed up drunk, he caused a big fight, and he threw an acid in our face. As that kind of is like triggering as, you know, he looks at um Deku, he's like, You think you can help my mom out with this? As he's like, I can see what I can do. As um he walks over to Miski and he like, you know, grabs her by her chin to see the damages on her face. As, you know, she starts to like she's like, What are you doing? you know? As he's like, Relax, and just do this. As then the nanobots come off his hands and start re um attaching her skin at the cellular level. Um it's not is it's so proficient where it's not like hurting her as it's happening, you know? Um yeah. and she's like, you know, he just like stay still, it would take like twenty minutes for it to be fully healed. And she kinda looks at, you know, um Deku like like where do you get this power from? Because your parents don't have, you know, these abilities, you know? He's like, it's a long story. But if I can tell anybody, it will be you. And yeah, your Baku already knows what's going on. As he, she looks at him, he nods his head. As he said, I should have figured when you flew away like that, I should have figured something was up. Uh, he kind of scratches his head, you know, because that kind of gave it away that he's not like his parents. <laughs> um, she yeah. thought it was like maybe um, telekinesis, but at a strong level. But there's no way, you know? And um, I'll let you take over. Alrighty. So, time skip like 20 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. As he's looking at uh, Minsky, you know? Mm -hmm. As he's still kind of like holding her face. Right. As he sees that, uh, even though he did what he could, like her eye is still kind of like, has like a, a lazy look to it. Right. So Deku just decides, because he knows, like, he can't, at this point, he can't really do anything about it actually physically starting to hurt her. Mm -hmm. Plus, she can still feel the remains of the acid in her eyes. So. Right. The only thing Deku can do is just constantly keep running water on it mm -hmm. and hoping for the, the best. Right. Because clearly, the surgery he would have to do to help her eye out he knows he can't really do it about it actually hurting as well, yeah. Right, she has to go on the anesthesia or something. Yeah. So Deku just decides to give her a uh, a self-repair eye patch that would, like, heal her eye over time. Mm. It's really meant to be like a, like how a tooth has, like, a cap over it. Right. Yeah, like that. For her eye. All right, let's leave it like that. <laughs>